landscape and now let's start setting our animation settings because we got that guy done the web is exactly the same it's just a different type of file so let me launch Enscape again so we have our environment set up the way we like let's actually make the path so we've already done like 90 percent of the work the, the rest is just to set the path we want and then the angle and then you save that and then you're basically done you just export so most of the work in Enscape is done on the front end getting Enscape to look the way you like making sure it has all the settings I think there's too much like fog so let's change that real quick so I'm gonna go to settings that fog got weird Maybe the height is too low so I think that looks better so you can close this let's move this guy back over so now I have my two here um, Let's hide these so that you don't see that. So the first thing you want to do is go over here now. So we've already looked at these first three. The fourth one over is the video editor. So you'll notice that you have like save path and render video, but they're grayed out. So these four are all part of the animation stuff. The next two are for like the VR and like the panorama, like 360 environments. And then the last one is like if you've already uploaded these things to like their website you can you can look at them here so these are for like these aren't this environment in VR the panoramas are what you use like, like the cardboard the Google cardboard thing with like a cell phone in it where you can stand in one spot and look around that's what the panorama creates if you wanted to do the VR where you look around you can move you use this one the VR headset and that's basically just changes the display and puts it into a headset and then you still move around and it's still active so this is really cool because it's straightforward you just turn it on um, but these four are what we want to do now so just like before where we couldn't use any of the Enscape settings until we launched Enscape now we can't use the video until you launch the video editor so this is kinda like always gonna be your first step you're gonna hit launch video editor and you'll see here we get a different menu at the bottom so there's not a whole lot of settings so it's not like a whole lot can go wrong and it's pretty self-explanatory but I'll show you like kind of how it works so let's say we wanted to start off um, our animation like for whatever reason like squirrel vision up here in the tree if this is like the view you want um, you're gonna wanna get the camera exactly where you want it at least get it pretty close and then you hit the first one here with the plus sign which is add keyframe or you can hit the letter K which coincidentally is also how you can bring this menu up so if you don't have the video editor and you hit K it will appear if you do have it up see now we have a little play sign there that means we added a keyframe um, next I'm gonna just orbit down and then start ah uh, yeah so let's make this let's try this size because most of this will be within this now so I don't want it to get too slow but and it will probably be faster on your computer because you're not also recording the screen at the same time so for some reason that's not dragging up so I gotta go down and move this up. is that better? This one's still going to stay small because it's the little menu. Um, but this is the one I hit, is add keyframe. So now I can come in here and zoom in. Maybe we go, let's go down a little bit. Oops, too far. Maybe we do something like this. And then I like this spot, so I'm going to hit add. And notice that like now we have one at the beginning, one at the end, because that's the only two. So you have a beginning and an end. So your, your timeline will always be as long as the total amount of keyframes. The more you add, now they start like pulling into the like middle. So here, I can, let's say I wanted to like go over here. We can orbit. Let's go 
Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's go right through their picnic. So maybe something like that looks good. So we've got this one, so I'm going to add the keyframe. And now you'll see here it will have one, two, and a third one. So I don't know if it's going really slow or I just didn't register. my there. So you have one, two, three. And then now that we've done that, let's go somewhere like this and add this keyframe. And so see, now there's a bigger distance here. The next thing I want to show you is what I usually do. So you don't change anything at all. You just hit preview right there, the bottom one. If you hit this one, it just deletes everything. So unless that's really what you want to do, don't do that. So hit preview, and it will jump and show you a preview of the animation. This is actually what it will export. So if you see anything that's weird here, you need to make sure that you fix it. So see, we went right through there. So there I'm going behind the tree. So maybe we could fix it so we somehow go in front of the tree. And then here we see the building. And now it's going to just stop because it got to the end. So 